uh, I took a sociology class, um, race relations. Mm -hmm. And that class had changed my life. It changed my direction um, academically. It gave me direction. And my professor asked me, you know, if you could go to any college in the world, where would you go? And I was like, USC, but I'm not that smart. I suck at school and I can't afford to go there. It, it would be a miracle if I got into that school. Right, exactly. So, But it happened. Yeah, he mentored me um, because the, the application process transferring is a lot of work, a lot of work, especially transferring from a JC. Mm-hmm. So he really mentored me and reached out to me. I mean, Mal Sack was an amazing, amazing experience. I had professors that genuinely cared about my direction. I mean, they wanted to see me graduate and transfer because most of the students that um, go into a junior college, I mean, majority of them don't ever finish because it's easy to get lost you know, and not if you're fine. working, especially mm-hmm. if you have a kid, then essentially. Yeah. So Zoe was born at that time. When yes. when was she born? She was born in '05. Okay, and when did you go to school? Spring 2007. Okay, so you took a. She was born year in so August, off. so yeah. Right, exactly. Did you have any babysitters, or who was taking care of her during the time you were in school? Um, when I started Mount Sac, I got her into the daycare on campus, so she was going to school with me every day. Um, wow. So it was. I would say we both experience. We both had the college experience. We <laughs> She's gonna have together. another one too. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed about that. I'm, she better. <laughs> After you did, there's no excuse. Yes. Seriously. Oh, mom, I want to go out Saturday night. No, it's okay if I fail this test. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, when That's you were inside me, I wasn't able to do. <laughs> Seriously, it's payback time. Yeah. But uh, so essentially, you mentioned in the Daily Trojan article that Zoe was your motivation. Mm-hmm. So how how true is that? To what degree? was it did you ever feel like I can't get through this and then you saw her face and it was I have to get through this there's no other option absolutely there were times where um I couldn't read her that bedtime story because I was pulling an all-nighter for right. a final or a midterm um and she I remember one time she came out to me and she was just like mom I love you and just smiled and gave me a hug and went to sleep and I was just like wow like this is it's so hard, you know, it, it really is hard to be a mom, a student, and at the same time work. And yeah. and I live, I lived in Roland Heights, so the commute over here was, it was, I mean, we were up at 545, dropped her off at daycare, and then I had a commute over here, and so we were, we had like 12-hour days. Unbelievable. And so... Um, and the gas is expensive, too. How are you able to yeah. pay for it all? And USC, you're probably going to be under some <laughs> severe debt until you're 55. <laughs> Luckily, yeah, I mean, I've been really blessed being here. Um, I, financial aid was very good to me my first couple, of, my first year and a half here. But um, I know a lot of grants got cut and whatnot. So um, I just did payments. I mean, I didn't really take out any loans so good for you yeah good for you are you so you you don't owe usc anything technically no wow unbelievable yeah unbelievable my goodness gracious that is outstanding but and you worked in annenberg here at right. usc which that, i mean that's fine but you don't get paid a tremendous amount yeah it wasn't a um uh i wasn't hired on as staff it was work study so wow and where did you actually find time to to study essentially i mean your college experience is far different than what people would associate with what would be a college experience, I'm mm-hmm. sure. If you're, if one, you're commuting, you're living off campus is usually uh, a shot to the foot when it comes to the college experience. Two, you have a kid. Yeah. Three, you're working. Four, you, I mean, you, you probably had a hard time making friends. Uh, that's just my hypothesis. Yes, that's that probably was the case. the biggest challenge. My first semester here, I couldn't relate to anybody. Right. I, it was the hardest thing for me because... And you're older than everyone I was older, as well. Yeah, I was you, older than everyone. But then when I mentioned I was a parent, they thought I was like 15 and pregnant, you know, when yeah. I had had Zoe because she was three at the time. So mm-hmm. no one knew my, like I was three years older than all of them. Um, but I say my time at Mount Sac, it was grind time. I, I had two Fs, so I had to ace every class. Mm-hmm. If I, I mean, for USC to even consider me. Right. So I... I mean, there was days, three days, I didn't come out my room just studying. I mean, first thing I did when I woke up, last thing I did when I went to sleep. And so when I got here, it it wasn't as hard for me. It, I was I, I was also in the honors program at, at Mount Sac, so they really prepared you for the university. Mm-hmm. 
um, level. So when I got here, um, it was less work, but the work was more intense. So at, sure. at Mount Sac, <laughs> it was like writing papers every week. And at USC, it was just like, you know, one paper a semester and a midterm final type of thing. And so um, after Zoe would go to sleep, I would just study. I didn't really, if, if studying was all I had to do, I would, I would be very thankful. But I had to take care of her and make sure she was good and then study. Do you ever regret during your time here not going with the typical college experience? It probably would have been much less stressful, much, uh, much more financially mm-hmm. beneficial, <laughs> yeah. much less anxiety and angst and things like that. Do you ever, for any moment, ever regret your decision? No, No. because if I didn't make that decision, I wouldn't be here. Right, exactly. I believe that with all of my heart. Um, God has been extremely faithful to me. Um, For me to even get into USC um, for after having two Fs on my transcript and then D minuses in high school. I mean, it was a miracle that I even got into this college. And my first day here walking around campus, I was I remember like taking a moment and just crying like. In, in awe that I am here, that I made it here. I made it for me, myself, my daughter, my family. This is true success. Unbelievable. Are you a first generation college? Yes. Other than your uncle? Yes, first wow. generation college student. Which is hard enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I tell you, most people, you know, they get all upset about midterms and finals, everything like that. Says, <laughs> what would happen if I had a kid to uh, to actually support? And I'd be like, no way. <laughs> Right. Everyone's struggles are different. So Seriously. So, well, thank you so much for coming on the show. And thank what a decision to make. You really have a lot of uh, a lot of self-pride and um, confidence as well. And is thank Zoe uh, USC bound? Absolutely. Yeah. She better be. Yeah. Trojans. Go Trojans. Thank you, Brittany. I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Manish Yagi's coming up in a couple of minutes. He's going to give us the inside scoop of where that Dornsife donation, $200 million, where is it going to be found? Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Conrad's Corner, USC's only news radio talk show.